guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another plan with me video. Since October is coming around the corner, of course, that means we have to set up our bullet journals. I know I say this in every single video, but I seriously cannot believe that it's already October. Like that means that there's only a couple months of the year left to go. And uh, that's crazy to me because at the end of this year, it'll actually be three years in total that I've been bullet journaling and sometimes I forget how many of these videos I've done until I look back on the playlist and I'm like, wow, there really is a lot and I've done a lot of different themes. Anyway, tangent over, I'm really excited for this month's theme because I decided to strip it back a little bit this month and do something a tiny bit simpler. I know the past couple of themes have been a little bit on the crazier side, so this month I wanted to do something that was, uh, you know, stripped back a little bit. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like it. Before we get right into the video, I'd like to give a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you are looking to build a website or an online store, Squarespace is the perfect all-in-one platform to do so. They have marketing tools and analytics and domains. I'll talk a little bit more about Squarespace later in the video, but without further ado, let's start planning. Grab your notebooks, bullet journals, snacks, drinks, all of the things, and Let's do it. Okay, so for this month's theme, I decided to do a moon phase theme. I thought it worked perfectly with October. Uh, you know, it's not fully Halloween theme, but it still does have those dark October vibes. And you guys have been asking me to do this moon phase theme for a while now anyways. So, you know, I'm doing it. Also, for this month, I decided to challenge myself a little bit because I've been noticing that I've been not falling out of bullet journaling recently, but I think over the past couple of months, I've been tied up in all of the doodle and the colors, uh, especially because the last three or four months, the themes have been really, really doodle heavy and colorful. So I went the polar opposite this month and I did a completely black and white spread. There's no accent color whatsoever. This is actually the first time in my whole two and a half, three years bullet journaling that I did a fully black and white monthly spread so it was an interesting challenge for me because I am used to relying on those colors but I actually really enjoyed the challenge because it kind of forced me to come up with creative ways to make the black and white look visually interesting and it also made me strip things back down to sort of the basics uh, I mean not saying that this setup is basic or minimal in any way you guys already know that my bullet journal style tends to lean more towards the doodly decorative style but you know compared to the past couple of months which have been a bit more complex this is on the simpler side which I think I've been needing especially since I've been so overwhelmed and busy lately so this was perfect for me I know it might not be everyone's style a lot of you guys like the color but you know I think the black and white I made it work. <laughs> anyway, as you can see for the cover, I wrote out the word October with my brush pen and then drew the moon phase cycle around it almost like a wreath. And then just to jazz it up and fill the empty space, I drew a bunch of stars and dots in a Milky Way sort of S shape so that it looks like it's in the galaxy. There are a ton of different moon phase images and illustrations out there on the internet. I used a couple for inspiration and I highly recommend you do so too because there's a lot of different ways that you can draw the moon. So just wanted to point out that the front cover of my bullet journal has a crescent moon on it so it matched with this theme. For the other side of the spread, I actually used a page out of the new Archer and Olive blackout notebooks. If you guys didn't know, Archer and Olive came out with these notebooks that have have completely black pages in them, which is so cool. I have the ones with the moon phases on the front, coincidentally. I did cut out a page from this notebook to use in my bullet journal, but let me know if you guys wanna see a whole separate video of me doing a full bullet journal spread in that black page notebook. For this, I only did it for the quote page on one half of the side, and I also used it as a couple accents later on in the video, but a full spread might be kind of interesting. I think the black paper just makes things pop, especially when you use a white gel pen on top. As soon as I decided to do a fully black and white theme this month, I knew I had to do something with black paper because I think it just makes even the most simple doodles look so unique and as you can see from this quote page, I drew a moon with these sparkly stars around it and the quote says, moon child you shine, but I think it looks really great even though it's such a simple doodle and it complements the cover page perfectly. 
Moving on to my monthly calendar. This month, I actually made my calendar bigger than the past couple of months. Previously, I was doing them smaller. I think the boxes were about five by five grid spaces. And this month I did six by six, just because I needed the planning space. This month is a little bit more hectic and busy for me. So decided to give myself more room to plan. For the numbers on the corner of the days, I actually followed the moon phase calendar for October. So I just pulled up, I think I just Googled October moon phases and I filled in the circles of the days according to what the actual moon phases are going to be. I hope that makes sense. Once I had all the moon phases down, I used my white gel pen or my black fineliner to fill in the actual numbers. Depending on whether the moon was white or black, I just switched it out. For the top header, I used my black thick marker and I used my white gel pen to write out the days of the week. Uh, I really did utilize the whole black background white text on top. I do think it's a fun way to use black and white. And it actually reminded me a lot of my spreads that I did at the very, very beginning of my bullet journal, my overall 2019 bullet journal setup, which I love the simplicity of. To finish it off, I just added some phases of moon, the title October, as well as some of those other sparkly stars around it. And um, on the sidebar, I did my usual YouTube growth tracker, uh, monthly goals, that type of thing. The next spreads are of course my trackers and since I had ripped out one leaflet, I'm not sure what it's actually called, but it's one spread from that uh, black notebook, I did have the other page to use freely uh, amongst the rest of my bullet journal, so what I decided to do was use it as an accent. I ripped off part of the top and bottom of the page and I used it as the headers for the trackers and I think it looks really cool and complements this theme really well. Um, I kept the rough ripped edge and what I didn't realize is that once I pasted it, the rough edge almost ended up looking like the silhouette of a mountain. It was completely unintentional. I didn't realize that it would end up looking this way, but I love it even more now, especially because I was doodling the moon in the black part. So it looks like a nice nighttime scenery at the top and I think it's cute. Um, for the actual trackers, this is nothing new. I did my individual trackers. I just drew out the shape of the calendar and I did it more angular this month because, you know, in the past I've done like rounded rectangles, but this month I decided to just do straight up rectangles. And for the headers, I did the same black background with white text, which by the way, the white font that I'm using is a very simple all caps font and I spaced it out a little bit. I really like the look of spacing out your letters. I think it gives it more classy look. And at the bottom, the quote, uh, I actually skipped over, but the quote says live by the moon. For the mood tracker, I drew out all of these big circles of the moon and I'm going to be filling them in according to how I feel. If I'm in a great mood, I'll keep the circle empty so that it looks like a full moon and if I'm not feeling too hot, then maybe I'll color in a little bit more and it'll be a half moon or whatnot. Uh, actually, at the bottom, I miscounted the number of circles I would need, so I ended up having to redo it and what I did to do that is just put a patch over it with white paper and it was good as new. I fixed it. Do not worry, but I would recommend sketching it out beforehand. Sometimes I wing things a little bit too much. Recently, I've discovered the whole world of moon journaling and I decided that it would be the perfect thing to incorporate in this month's bullet journal setup because obviously moon phase theme, you got a moon journal. Now, if you don't know what moon journaling is, it's basically every phase in the moon phase cycle kind of has a different meaning and a lot of people like to create intentions and live their life surrounding or based upon these different moon phases. So for example, the new moon kind of represents new beginnings. So this is when you would set your intentions and your goals. There's a lot of information and resources on this. I'm not the best person to explain all of it. So what I'm gonna do is leave a bunch of links down below for different moon journal prompts that you can include in your own journal. But I decided to keep it a little bit simple. So I have a box for every phase of the moon. And underneath it, I actually wrote out the dates from this month where the moon is going to be in that specific phase. And once those days come around, I'll fill in the box and 
answer the specific prompts. As another example, full moons are a time of gratitude, so for that box, I'll put something that I'm grateful for at that time. Next to it, I again did my half black page thing just to contrast it and make sure that it looks like a different spread because this spread is my playlist spread. I brought it back this month, you guys missed it last month, and honestly, I missed it as well. I love sharing music with you guys, so I had to bring it back this month. This playlist is actually themed around the moon. So yes, all of these songs have moon in the title and actually when I was making this playlist and listing out the songs, I realized how many of my favorite songs in general just coincidentally have to do with the moon because a lot of these songs I've loved and you know, I'm not just putting these songs in the playlist just because they have moon in the title. Some of the songs include The Moon Song by Karen O, oh, which is from one of my favorite movies, Her. We have Moonlight on the River by Mac DeMarco, Frank Ocean's cover of Moon River, Shoot the Moon by Nora Jones, Moonchild by RM, which was the quote that you saw at the beginning of this video, Sun and Moon by Sam Kim, Half Moon by Dean, Moon by Wu Sung, Moonlight Melody by Red Velvet, Sun and Moon by NCT127, Moonlight by Wee Wee, and Moon by Everglow. But what I'm gonna do is actually make the playlist on Spotify and link it down below so that you guys can listen to it if you want, preferably at nighttime when you're looking up at the stars and the moon, but you know, if you can't see the stars, then maybe just turn off all the lights and it'll be the same thing. Uh, Amanda Richley approved. All right, so for the last spread, it is of course my first weekly spread for October. For this spread, I did a cycle circular layout I actually don't think I've ever done this sort of layout on a Plan With Me video. I've done them on my Instagram for my weekly spread live streams, but I thought it'd be perfect for this month because of the moon phase cycle thing. And I know a lot of people, whenever I do these spreads, a lot of people say that I'm doing it in the wrong way. But for me, when I see a circle like this, I always think clockwise like a clock, which is why I put Monday at the top right and then I went around clockwise. But of course, if you prefer a different direction, feel free to do whatever you want. Um, for the actual spread, I drew out the moon phases similar to how I did it on the cover page. Finished off with a couple sprinkly, twinkly stars around it and I have the days of the week coming out from a line from the center in cursive. And then to finish it off, I have the numbers in the moon phases as well with some washi tape around it. And I used the gray uh, to create some brushstroke backing. I know I wasn't supposed to use any sort of accent color, but I just had to. Gray doesn't count, okay? It's not technically a color. Before I show you guys the final flip through of my October bullet journal setup, I wanted to take this time to quickly talk a little bit about today's lovely sponsor, Squarespace. If you guys have been meaning to start a website or an online store, I highly recommend you check out Squarespace. I actually redid my entire website using Squarespace and it has been great. Their all-in-one platform makes it really easy for you to create a beautiful looking website even if you've had no experience in web design. They have a bunch of beautiful designer templates that you can use. They have marketing tools and analytics like email campaigns and if you ever need any help with anything they have award-winning 24 7 customer service who will be there to help you whether that's setting up or transferring a domain or whatever you need it's really really great if you guys do want to try out squarespace for yourself head to squarespace.com slash amanda rich lee for a free trial and for 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or a website thank you again to squarespace for supporting the channel and here is the flip through here it is guys, my full flip through of my October 2019 bullet journal setup. Fully black and white, no color whatsoever. I honestly really, really enjoyed this month and I love the way it turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alright everyone, so that was it for this month's plan with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, during the outro, this is the time where I get to showcase some of your recreations from last month which look amazing by the way. If you happen to recreate any of my spreads, whether it be this month's or previous months, I would love to see it. Uh, you can tag me on Instagram at Amanda H. Lee. You can tag me in the photo and the caption. I always love creeping on your posts and liking all of them. And maybe next month you can be featured here. <laughs> Forgot to mention that you can also use the hashtag Lil Doodles on your posts. I also go through that hashtag a bunch when looking at your recreations. And 
Honestly, Instagram is just the place to be because we do weekly live streams where I do the other weekly spreads and I post a lot of other fun doodle inspirations. So I hope to see you guys there. I think that's pretty much it for this video. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to click that bell button down below so you never miss a new video from me. I hope you guys have a great day. Keep doodling and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone.